What better way to learn about the YouTube API than here on YouTube? We're going to learn how to use the official YouTube API, how to authenticate the object hierarchy and how it represents data, and we're going to learn how to access data for a particular channel and download all the videos in CSV format. The first thing you're going to need is an API key, allowing you to talk to the Google API, which gives back YouTube data. If you look at the description of this video below, you'll see a link to a page with some resources on how to do all this and how to access all the information I'm talking about. The first page I'm going to go through is an article that I wrote that talks about how to get your YouTube API key. It's pretty simple. Just follow the steps here. We can go to the credentials section in the Google console here. You guys can see I currently have a couple YouTube API keys. Uh, it's hidden so you all can't see them. And if you don't already have one, just hit this button here, create credentials, API key, and there you have it. So this here is my API key, which obviously I'm going to delete right now because I just shared it with the whole world. So I'm just going to hit the trash can. And all you have to do is copy that long list of letters and save it somewhere safe. And we're going to reuse that through the remainder of this tutorial. So let's take a hot second and first understand the YouTube resource hierarchy and how it delivers back data. At the top level, we have sort of the user. Uh, so the user is basically just a person who has an account, uh, it could be a business account, and that account can have multiple channels. Typically, you're probably interested in the channel because the subscriber count and the total watch time and everything is built at the channel level, but it is possible for a user to have multiple channels. For instance, um, if a user has a related channel section, that can count as additional channels for that user. So there's an endpoint that we want to use first to get all the channels for a particular user. Once we have the channel we're interested in, we want to get playlists for each channel. So there's a special playlist for each channel called the uploads playlist. That includes every single video that the channel has uploaded. That's usually what we're going to be interested in, but there's also a way to get other playlists that we can see in this diagram. So for example, if we look at the channel closest to me, we can see that it has one implicit upload playlist that's going to have all of the videos, and you can see the links to each playlist item. Playlist item is basically a video. And then there are two other ancillary playlists, like you know maybe funny cat videos or you know what, what's another type of playlist, and they each also link to the video playlist item that the upload playlist links to. So this is an important distinction between a playlist and a playlist item because one playlist item can belong in multiple playlists. So now that we understand the YouTube resource hierarchy, let's work with the goal of getting all of the videos or playlist items from my YouTube account, Steve C. Data. First thing we want to do is go to the page. We'll see here I'm at youtube.com slash Steve C. Data. But be warned, Steve C. Data is not actually my username. Username is the first thing we need to get going. So to actually get the username from the URL, we need to click around until the, you see the URL change. So I'm just going to click on home to slash user slash Steve C. LLC. Username I picked a long time ago and I don't think they let you change it. So I'm stuck with it. So now that I have my username back, I want to get the channel associated with my username and also some associated information with that channel. If you remember, each channel has exactly one upload playlist, and we can get that back from this endpoint. So I can just put in my username, and I'll get back my main channel, and in that channel, I'll get the playlist for all of my videos. So we can go ahead and use this here, channels list. I have a link to how to use this on my website on the page linked to below. So we can just walk through this here, and you can always check that link later when uh, you need some reference. So here, I'm interested in the filters. I want to get the channels for my username. So that's the input we're interested in. The other thing we have to consider is what do we want back from the endpoint. So if we scroll up here, there's a part parameter. I don't know why they picked that name, but whatever. And we can specify what we want the YouTube API to return back in the response payload. The more data that YouTube gives back to us, the more credits it charges my account. So you usually only want to get back kind of the data you're interested in. You don't want to get back excess data if you're not going to use it. So back to my documentation, I've built a list of most of the snippets that we want. So I'm just going to copy that here and paste that here because I let you try out the endpoint under part. So I'm telling you I want back the ID, the snippet, 
content details, which is going to give us back that uploads playlist containing all of my videos, and also just statistics for fun like subscriber count, things like that. And the only other thing we have to do is under for username, put in my username, Steve C LLC, and hit execute. It's going to ask me to authenticate. Um, looks legit to me. Okay, and I got a 200 back, which is a success from the API. And here under items, it shows me an array of all the channels for that username. So here's my main channel. I can see the channel ID. And see here, Steve C data, and I really want to get that upload playlist so I can get my videos. So here we go, content details, see likes, favorites, ah, uploads, and this looks like an ID. So this must be the ID for my uploads playlist. So now I'm going to take this ID for a playlist, and I want to get the playlist items associated with this ID. So I'm going to go here to playlist items and list, I'm going to open this in a new tab. So let's try plugging in that ID here under where they give you playlist ID. I'm going to paste that in. And we also have to put in our friendly part parameter. So let's just try content details. They have them documented here as well, as well as also how many credits each one will take. And also let's just do snippet to be safe. Uh, I think snippet gives you kind of just like an overall summary of the response. So let's do this again. And 200. So now, I have under items all the videos that I've published recently. So here I can see my last video, the Airbnb data API. I can get my thumbnail. We can also get the video ID from each of these. So here's the ID string, which is a long string, and we can plug this into other endpoints like comments. We can start reading comments about videos. We can also do other interesting things like automatically like videos using the API with a computer program. But I've already liked all my videos, so there's nothing else for me to do. So this is great. We can see the videos in the web browser. But remember, our goal was to get this data out using an API into a CSV or a JSON or some other format that we can use in other systems like databases or third parties. So Google luckily has this cool option called Show Code. And it'll show you the instructions used to get this data. So here, if you remember our API token that we got in the first step, if I just paste this here, it gives me the curl command to repeatedly access this endpoint and get the videos back. So I could use this for my channel, I could use this for a similar channel I'm interested in, or if I want to target the audience of another channel, I may be able to do that and kind of get a list of the videos and read the comments and see what's going on there. But we'll get into that later. Anyway, how do we get this in an automated fashion outside of our web browser? So they have a couple curl examples, they have Java, PHP examples. Uh, that's cool, so you could write a program to keep crawling this and then parse the JSON and put it into a CSV or do whatever you want. We're not going to get into that in this video. We are going to show you how you can quickly access this endpoint and download a CSV on the Steve C data platform. So let me just show you real quick how to do that. All you need is to copy basically the playlist ID and hop on over to the Steve C endpoint, which I have linked to below, and put the playlist ID in here. And then if you get the API key, from the Google console, we paste that in here. And we can scroll down, and we can see Steve C has already given me a preview of the URL it's going to call, all the query parameters, and I'm going to execute it on the platform. Why? Because Steve C went and parsed everything for me automatically. It presents me with some suggested collections. It automatically found which part of the JSON was referencing the videos. Here I have seven rows. 27 fields, and I can download this directly as a CSV. So now I can open it up and look at it in CSV format. I can see the titles of all my videos, the descriptions. I can get some basic stats on it as well. Nifty, right? That's it for now. Check out the link below for all these incredible YouTube resources on how to access their API and get data back and get it in CSV format. So tell me, what else do you want to get back from YouTube? Do you want to get comments? Do you want to get likes? Do you want to get more aggregate stats? Let me know in the comments below what more aggregate data you want to see from YouTube or other similar social media APIs, and I'll be happy to show you. That's it. Take care and stay data-driven.